Good morning everyone, Charles Wilkinson from Arga Yachting and here we have today an absolutely stunning Galleon 440 flybridge. This boat is in stock for sale here in Ocean Village Marina in Southampton and I'll show you around. These galleons obviously pack a huge amount of innovation. They're very well known for that. Like you can see this folding bulwark here, which is folded out and it creates a huge amount of space. Most noticeably when you're actually on the boat, you can notice how much it really extends everything. This is a new model from Galleon, so it has the new hull windows as well down the side. Really striking, looks incredible at sea when you're at anchor and obviously inside the boat, that's where you benefit from the cabins. So just looking at the stern, we do have synthetic teak decking, which is really easy to maintain and looks great as well. I even love how they put it on this camber where the lockers are, just looks really modern, lovely styling. I like how the Galleon logo's there as well. Constantina steps. So when the, with this hydraulic high-low platform goes into the water, if you've got a jet ski or a tender on there, these Constantina steps will uh, go down with the platform. So super easy to get on board. This is a wet bar underneath here, one huge piece, which is quite unique. So we have a electric griddle, hot and cold sink, ice bucket. So you can put loads of drinks in there with a chopping board as well. So it's a very generous stern. Lots of cool lighting. We have blue and white lights here. Our revising camera, we'll talk about that later, but. The folding bulwark, as you can see, and it even has these glass panels inside so you can see the sea or when it's up likewise you can see through it and it does have non-skid as well on there if i just remove this or move this seat i should say like that flips over and you can see if that boat wasn't in the way what a fantastic view it just opens up the whole area and there are guard rails as well with ropes which go in there of course just to make it safe so looking at the cockpit itself, we do have a folding table. If you're going into dining mode, and obviously that seats a whole bunch of people around. Very easy. And you can see these glass windows. Just nice little features like that. Galleon didn't need to do that, and it just makes a world of difference. And these are super high as well with handrails, really safe. We'll walk up later towards the end of the video. And looking into the saloon, you can see we've got an abundance of windows. They even go behind the backrests of the sofas. It's flooded with natural light. These bifolding doors, instead of sliding to the end of the wall, they actually go against each other. So it opens up the whole area. And even this part here, this flips just like the cockpit seat. And then again, we can join our friends and family just there. Galleon also fabricate all of their steel. So they have full quality control over it and it feels incredibly solid. It's hard to explain it over video, but all of their fittings and fixtures, all the handrails as well, all of these just feel incredibly solid and well-made. So into the saloon, we have a really nice large dining area with a table kind of extends a little bit, just to give you a bit more. It also drops down. We have a cushion infill if you wanted to turn it into a bed or just kind of a lounging area for a movie. It does have that, and opposite we have a, a bench seat. Storage above, beneath the seats, we have our uh, electric panel there, so 230 volt, 12 volt. It's all there with Fusion stereo speaker system. Might as well show it actually. Fusion stereo speaker system with our, these are our Basto units, so reverse cycle air conditioning. So I heated up the boat before I started the video. They're really good in individual cabins, so those panels are everywhere in all the cabins. So. Um, and then into the galley. Absolutely love this work surface. It's really highly finished gloss worktop. Feels incredibly solid when you remove this sink and fill. It's very heavy. Uh, almost as like a little splashback for the sink. But great faucet. These units and then a uh, little bin compartment. Even a part like this, you'd think it's quite loose and it doesn't look very structural. It's incredibly solid galleon built build all of this really well. Microwave, fridge as well with an ice compartment, ceramic two burner hob, and we have this 
drink straw, which is goes a lot further than you think. So you won't be short of booze on this boat. <laughs> Great windscreen, one piece as well. Some boats are two, but uh, yeah, really nice light into the boat. And onto the helm itself. So you can see we've even got this LED strip that goes underneath. It's a really modern layout. It looks really striking. Of course, all of our buttons here, autopilot, bow thruster, chain counter, our actual engine control dials are there. Um, and then onto the Raymarine Axiom plotter itself, 12 inch. I've even put the reversing camera on so you can see what that looks like. But all your goodies are on there, depth, everything. You can plot your course. And then our keyless ignition, our throttles for obviously the engines, zip wake automatic trim system. Super easy, that does the bow of course, and then the rolling as well from side when you're at sea, going over waves and things. This is probably one of the best features on this boat is the side helm door. That is an absolute game changer for the helmsman. And it also opens up the whole boat, makes it all very airy and flow, flows well. But yeah, the helmsman can kind of walk out and pass the lines and do the fenders really, really easily. And it's a massive door, it's not a tiny opening. I love how Galleon even do these inserts. Um, they've got uh, indirect LED lighting behind with the carbon inserts. Looks beautiful with all the lights as well. The styling in here is fantastic with this eucalyptus Nero finish. It's a matte finish of wood, really nice. But even on this helm, you can see how it's a pod design. So it's super minimalist and it's very, very modern. Looks great. So down into the cabins, this boat is a three cabin layout that's extremely unique for this size of boat. Normally this size uh, only has really two cabin, two heads, but Galleon's done super well to squeeze in three cabins, which we'll see in a second. Uh, on the port side, we do have a, a bunk bed arrangement. So going down straight into the VIP cabin, forward. Lots of really cool lighting, indirect. Uh, because I've got the sun pad above, that's blocking the light, but you can imagine all the light it lets into this cabin. Very, very nice hull windows. If you're in bed, you'd have a fantastic view. So they've ever so slightly slanted this berth to starboard side ever so slightly. I'm six foot four, 193 centimeters, and you can actually lie in this bed dead straight. You don't have to do it at an angle. So, um, it, and that's how they squeeze in the third cabin. It's really, really interesting. And it doesn't compromise in here at all. The headroom is fantastic. We've got hanging storage there for shirts and suits and things. Lots of storage around. Our Basto um, heating system, cold or hot, is there. Plugs, light switches, and I love these backlit designs on the, on the cabins as well and the woodwork's all curvy and beautifully finished. With this as well, with the woodwork. I'll show you the door handles, how they're on a magnetic latch. And they're very, very well-made handles as well. The fit and finish on this boat is really nice. And again, this is where we benefit from those beautiful hull windows outside. This is our twin bunk here. Again, really good length, Any anyone can lie in here. It's, it's not a compromised area. And I mean, what an amazing window. They have a great view out, top to bottom of the bunk bed, incredible. This is the kind of day head for everyone, for the two cabins anyway, and for everyone using the boat. Very well fitted out, kind of private shower. So the door comes across, rainfall, as well as a handheld. And we have the same material from the galley. Electric flush loos, lots of mirrors everywhere. And I even love how these blind system work. Really cool, really innovative. Very nice faucets and sinks. So that's the kind of day head. And then walking into the master cabin, A really, really nice master cabin. Fantastic width, obviously, like you'd expect on this boat. But the windows, again, just let in so much light. Backlit designs are lovely, and it even extends as far as the ceiling. So when you're in the bed, it's a really nice place to be. Loads of storage either side. The headroom, granted, is not very high where I'm standing right now. But if I come to this little bit here, it's about two meters tall but it's a really nice cabin. Finished really nicely, carpets, indirect lighting, and the hull windows are enormous.
and here's the ensuite to the master cabin, similar to the other one, electric flush loo, separate shower with the door, and it even has the bench seat, which is great. And the rainfall shower. So that's the three cabin arrangement. Really unique for this size of vessel. And we can go to the bow. So this is the latch for the folding bulwark. That is the main latch. And then I will actually show it. You can see how, how easy that is. It feels really secure. It's on a hy hydraulic ram. Put it back down. There we go. Some nice LED spotlights as well, just across. And here we have this absolutely enormous sun pad. Again, for a 45 foot boat, this is enormous. And I've tilted one backrest up, but you can do all of them or make it all flat and take off this backrest here. But this is kind of in its universal mode. And it's just really nice how you can do so much. Cup holders, the whole, um, the deck fittings are concealed beneath the anchor chain and the anchor winch. And then we have a storage unit here for lines and warps and all the chain goes down there. But it's nice that it's all concealed. We even have a really high tow rail as well. So no one's gonna slip off anywhere and really good handrails as well, all along the boat, like you'd expect. So we'll go now up to the flybridge. This is one button here, which changes the, the lighting from white to blue. We have the same downstairs. <clears throat> and here we have the flybridge. What a fantastic area. The seating on this is enormous. I'll just demonstrate. So this helm seat flips back and forth, similar like to the two downstairs. So you could fit, you know, over eight people almost. This is the table in its default position. If I extend everything, we'll see how that transforms it. Pulls over. And this table as well folds out and it turns, like I said, into almost a 10 person dining table. It's hard to see how many people that, how big that is on camera, but it is enormous. Wet bar, similar to the platform down there, hot and cold shower, sorry, hot and cold tap, and then um, a griddle and then a fridge as well with some storage right on one of the covers. Accompanying helm bench, which is really nice. It's not just one seat or, you know, you can fit three people there again. Flip this over, we have a pretty much identical helm, a same Raymarine screen, 12 inch, with our engine dials, bow thruster, sticks, engine throttles, um, and the zip wake autopilot, really nice. And it's a pretty strong uh, windscreen in the sense that it will definitely protect you. It's a very big one. And a great view over. So we just go down into the engine bay, through the deck hatch, and as you can see, it's a very large area actually. Once you're down here, it gives you really good access around the engines. Uh, metal fuel tanks either side, total of 1700 litres with our Volvo D6 440 horsepower shaft driven engines. Nice engines, they will give you a top speed of around 28. It's really nice performance. And as you can see, our Wabasto reverse cycle air conditioning heating system batteries, hydraulic steering system for the rudders, our Paguro generator, safety systems for fire, and then various breakers and battery charging and battery monitoring system. Really good engine bay, lots of access. You can even store things down here as well. So that concludes the walkthrough tour here on this Galleon 440 flybridge. As I mentioned, that is brand new in stock and for sale with us here at Argo Yachting. If you'd like any more information, please do let us know. Uh, we are reachable on all the details below and we'd love to show you the boat. Thank you for watching.